friends welcome back to my channel addicted soul and how are you all today we are going to review a new fountain pen which is muji round aluminum fountain pen which is this as they say muji means the lack of branding this one is a japanese retail company muji pen that offers a variety of household and consumer products distinguished by its design minimalization and no logo and no brand policy their stationary products list includes notebooks paper pads pencil rubber ball pen gel pen rulers etc you name them and they have them one of their most popular products is this muji round as you can see this is muji round aluminum fountain a dose of lucidity that all fountain pen lovers will crave for the name muji is derived from the first part of muji rushi ryohin which in japanese translates as no brand no goods and this pen exact is exactly that I have ordered this pen from the flagship Muji store in DLF Mall of India, Noida, during the lockdown period. This pen did not disappoint me a bit, and I would recommend this product to anyone who loves cold, metallic, minimalistic, and premium-looking pens. In some aspects. it is honestly a likable fountain pen to start with i would say i am not a fountain pen connoisseur or anything but i am genuinely surprised at the quality of this pen after over 6 months of regular use i am pleasantly impressed with the distinctive and recognizable muji no packaging to speak of and just bang on affordable pricing like the feel of the superficially very simple pen the quality of materials and craftsmanship i genuinely adore writing with it this pen is unquestionably competes with the pens that are priced many times higher than the value of this pen i enjoy everything about this pen so much that i felt impelled to give it a nice review this muji pen aesthetics are clean as you can see clean simple stylish rounded sleek functional design with a snap on cap which features a short clip which is tight and fits most of the pockets and this is a snap on cap as you can see here the sound This fountain pen is very much in this way and it is based on minimalism simplistic and sandblasted texture theme which makes it look like a high end pen The texture does a great job of hiding 
fingerprints and absorbing dings and scratches over the pen the pen is very slim as you can see and its cylindrical tubular barrel is made of aluminium with a matte finish and at one end nib is there the knurling over the grip prevents slipping when held between fingers loosely as you can see this knurling the rubberized top and bottom in deep grey leaves the contrasting impression of light and dark this snap on cap can be easily removed and can be posted securely like this over the finial end of the barrel and the post caps very uniquely as its edges as the edges of the cap are remarkably paper thin as you can see and fits into the wafer thin channel hollowed out at the end of the barrel as you can see this this it fits into this like this it goes in like this and fits it is a nicely sized pen of uh, the length is approximately 5.4 inches when you cap it uncapped it it is around 4.8 inches posted 6.4 the barrel and the section diameter is around 0.40 inches and the weight of this pen is approximately 20 grams with the cartridge and converter this fountain pen has a size 5.5 small nib as you can see this size 5.5 small nib which is in silver color and is a schmidt nib that is only available in german fine in width and they are not available in any other sizes so this pen offers only a fine tip nib it has engravings as you can see it has engraving scrolls and flourishes on it denoting the tip as well as claiming an iridium point which is in congruous next to the rather utilitarian lines of the pen itself something simple and suave would have complemented the pen better because this nib in comparison to the pen and in com- it's not complementing the pen the nib looks very gaudy and the pen is rather simple in comparison to the nib the feed is made of plastic this is the feed and it is made of plastic writing with this nib is very delightful and leaves impressive marks without bleeding through the paper ink flow is very nice and consistent the nib i would say is buttery smooth even without any pressure and writes like a western medium point it is very firm and produces a moderate to wet lines and it usually starts right away even after being put away capped for a week without any hiccups the nib never dries out because of the presence of this plastic cup i hope you can see 
it has this plastic cup inner cap inside the cap the fan pen really feels sturdy and its quality is definitely on par with much pricier pens the section screws off on metal threads and takes international size cartridge and converter the pen is supplied with one piece of black ink cartridge which is this this is the cartridge that comes with this pen and i have also purchased two extra cartridges with this pen the bad part is that no converter is included with the pen this is the converter that i am using presently so this one is not included with the pen i had to hunt for a compatible converter myself and here i am using a generic converter as you can see which fits decently inside the section and finding this one was a real herculean task for me seriously i have tried around 20 different converters before i found the right one so in hand when you hold it this when you hold this pen in hand this pen is extremely light pen it has a good length as you can see and because there is no step from the section up to the barrel it is easy and comfortable to hold no matter what your grip is so it can fit in any grip and any size hand everything is matte finished so there is no chance of slipping around it is indeed balanced very well with the tip being heavy and it's also light enough that extended writing is not a problem nor is hand fatigue for a daily work horse fountain pen the muji is among one of the brilliant choices i would say this pen is excellent its price to performance ratio is as good as the kakuno platinum preppy uh, pilot metropolitan and if i talk about indian makes then i would say can write desire and click aristocrat i am thrilled to pieces with this pen when it comes to functionality and performance for a price of 1200 rupees or say in dollars around 17 16 17 dollars it's definitely worth its weight in gold if you need an affordable everyday carry pen and want a fountain pen the muji round aluminum fountain pen is hard to beat seriously finally and ultimately this pen left me speechless because of its usability and functionality it is smart but but it has cons too it lacks life i personally miss those beautiful vivacious curls and curves it is just a working hardware a tool with minus personality emotions and expressions it does not talk to me when i sit hold it in my hand and write with it and for me that is not what a pen is a pen should be much more than just a working piece of instrument 
and it should speak for himself this one is very cold and gives a zombie feel it gives me a feeling of ordering a slave while i put my emotions through this pen on the paper the warmth and compassion both are missing but i can still continue to appreciate the aesthetics of this pen but this pen don't give me the feeling of closeness and it lacks to ignite the spark of joy inside me while scribbling something personal uh, it will remain there in my collection but not as many as 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 my dearest one it is like another any other stationary item in my hall so enough talking about the aesthetics and all let's move on to show you the writing impressions of this daily driver and for that today i am using schneider midnight blue which i have filled in the converter of this pen and let us show you the writing impressions the paper that i am using again is built 10 on 10 student notebook paper nothing fancy nothing fountain pen friendly it's a normal generic everyday use student notebook paper so let's start with the writing samples this pen is muji muji round so as you can see no skipping problem is there fluency in writing is there the nib writes on the paper butter is smooth and it glides on the paper the nib is pretty wet and let's do the wetness test in front of you see how wet the nib is if we do the 5 second or 5 6 second test then also it will be a wet one see this it also gives some line variations to start with this is say 0.5.567 maximum it goes to 0.8 or 0.8 maximum as you can see the flex slight pressure and flex is there a bit of flex is available in this in reverse writing i don't think it writes in reverse see this is pretty much scratchy while writing in reverse and fast writing
as you can see no signs of skipping at all See some line variations. So overall it's a real nice pen but as i have said it lacks life it's cold and it's lifeless but it works as you order this pen to work and that's all for now about this pen about the review of this pen and if you are really interested in buying this pen we can go ahead and i won't say it will disappoint you it will not so that's all guys for now in this video i hope you have liked the review and if you have liked my video and my presentation and my content then please do like share and subscribe my channel addicted soul and show me your love like this on me i'll meet you again with another pen another ink or another video so till then stay safe stay healthy see you for now vande mataram jai hind har har mahadev